Leonard, check this out. <laughs> Leonard, she's doing it again. I think it upsets Sheldon when you play with the food. <laughs> no, it upsets Sheldon when she willy-nilly takes it from the containers without regard for its equitable distribution. This is essentially why you have famine in India. You want me to put it back? Leonard? It upsets Sheldon when you play with the Sheldon. What's up, my nerd dizzles? Raj, Sheldon, I want you to meet my girlfriend, Bernadette. Hello. Leonard, Penny, you know my girlfriend, Bernadette. Uh, hey. <laughs> Bernadette, say faux shizzle to my nerd dizzles. I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't have Howard Street cred. <laughs> I hope it's all right. I told my girlfriend, Bernadette, she could join us for dinner. Sure, the more the merrier. But no, that's a false equivalency. More does not equal Mary. If there were 2,000 people in this apartment right now, would we be celebrating? No, we'd be suffocating. <laughs> Sheldon. That Sheldon me, we ordered for five people, not six. Oh, come on, it's fine. We'll just put it all on the table. You know, family style. Oh, sure. And while we're at it, why don't we put our hands behind our backs, have an old-fashioned eating contest? <laughs> Relax, it'll be fine. Sit down, you guys. No! no! What? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't sit there. Why not? That's where Sheldon sits. He can't sit somewhere else? Oh, no, no, you see, in the winter, that seat is close enough to the radiator so that he's warm, yet not so close that he sweats. In the summer, it's directly in the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there and there. It faces a television at an angle that isn't direct, so we can still talk to everybody, yet not so wide that the picture looks distorted. Perhaps there's hope for you after all. Our whole universe was in a hot state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started wait the earth began to cool the autotrophs began to drool neanderthals developed tools we built a wall we built the pyramids math science history unraveling the mystery that all started with a big bang hey! oh i love your shoes oh Thanks, they are cute, aren't they? Where'd you get them? Shoes for less. I've been meaning to go over there. Oh, great selection, great prices. <laughs> My mother was right, hell is real. Come on, Sheldon, let the women folk chat. <laughs> women folk? Gals, chicks, utero Americans. <laughs> Just eat your dinner. Don't take him too seriously. A lot of what he says is intended as humor. Yeah, well, I don't think it's very funny. Me neither, but he just lights up when I laugh. <laughs> Howard never let her go. So, Leonard, Howard says you're working on fundamental tests of quantum mechanics? I am. Are you interested in physics? I find it fascinating. If I hadn't gone into microbiology, I probably would have gone into physics or ice dancing. <laughs> Actually, my tests of the Aronoff bomb quantum interference effect have reached an interesting point. Right now, we're testing the phase shift due to an electric potential. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, Leonard's work is nearly as amazing as third graders growing lima beans and wet paper towels. <laughs> While I appreciate the oh snap, I'm uncomfortable having your moist breath in my ear. <laughs> Are you going to try to set up the voltages using tunnel junctions? Yes, I am. You want to see a simulation on my laptop? Oh, yeah, show me. In microbiology, the most exciting thing I get to work with is yeast. <laughs> Howard? Yeah? Your shoes are delightful. <laughs> Where did you get them? What? Bazinga. I don't care. <laughs> Racially stereotypical plumber. That's not fair. I got stuck behind a tree. And a cow and a penguin. <laughs> Face it, dude. Whether it's a real car or a virtual cartoon car, you can't drive. Just need a little more practice. What you need is cheat codes, motor skills, and a...